you guys and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing some products by Lunar Beauty. Do you want to know what's in my box? Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So I received this box, I think a few weeks ago, but I'm finally able to sit down and review this for you. This is a purchase that I made myself on Lunar Beauty's website. I saw a thing on their Facebook that the brush set was back in. And if you guys follow me, I'm, I'm a creature of habit. I have a very few brushes that I use every day, but I do have quite a few full sets that I've never used or maybe used once or twice. So I really don't need another brush set but I really love the design. If you guys follow me, you know I'm kind of like a package hoe. I love a good packaging, colors, that kind of thing. So I definitely wanted to get my hands on it. Plus I can show you guys how it comes if you are interested in purchasing it. I did also get one new lip gloss and I got the Internal Eclipse palette, which I'm so, so, so glad to now have. And this is the first look that I did make with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the products. I'm gonna show you how I created this if you are interested. And then I have my other palettes and my other lipsticks here in front of me to show you guys. So if you were interested in Lunar Beauty's products, I can show you the difference of other ones that I actually have in my collection. So let's go ahead and dive into the box. This is how it came. It's their Lunar Beauty box. And then down in here is going to be the bag with the brushes inside. We have the one lip gloss and then the star of the show, this beautiful, beautiful palette right here. So this right here, I paid $48 for the moon colored lip gloss is $17. And this eye brush set with the bag was $35. So these are the three products that I did purchase. And let's go ahead and see this guy right here. So here is the actual packaging when you first get it in the box, the inside and the out, back and forth, front and back, whichever. <laughs> when you get it out of the box, it is just absolutely beautiful. Look at that. This is just stunning. I absolutely love the moon. I love everything about the moon. I have the moon phase tattooed on me. I just love the moon. So to see this packaging, I had to add it. Plus I have like, I think almost all of the other palettes on the site. So I definitely needed the other one that I was missing. And the teal, the black, it's just, this screams, this is my favorite colors, my favorite thing. This is just a beautiful package. I love how they put the white behind it, which makes it pop and it does stick out a hair. I don't know if you can see that, but it does stick out a hair, more 3D. This is just beautiful packaging. Oh my gosh, Lunar Beauty, you hit it out of the park with this package. I love the colors, it just everything, everything. So when you open her up, she purry. You do have a huge, large size mirror. There is this that I always remove. They kind of just get in my way. I normally don't use them, but if you have you have them there if you would like that protectant cover. And here is all of the colors. Now I did use it as I like I said I did this look, and with this look, all I did was use this like to give a little shimmer under my brow bone. I set my base with this color. I went in with this. And then I deepened up my crease with this one. I did this one right here on my lower lid. And then I went into the corner with this color here to deepen up right here in that corner. I cannot wait to use this to do more of like the browns. You can even these three colors right here are just gorgeous together. You have a lighter pinkish color there to kind of break up some of the colors. This is just an amazing palette. I love the colors and I cannot wait to swatch them all for you so I can actually see what all of the colors look like on my skin. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you now. Okay, so here is the palette. I didn't wanna kinda like go small here or over my tattoo, so I did the rest of the, bl the blues up here. But this right here is the one that I said I put under my brow bone. You can kinda see that little slight shimmer. So that's where it starts. This is that silver I put on my lower lid. This is the one I was debating back and forth from, which is a really beautiful color. So either way, it would have been, it would have looked really good if I even chose that one. This is the gold, what is this one called? Gold dust. 
I'm not quite sure how much I'll use this, if at all, because I'm not a huge gold fan, but it's more of like a copper. So with this brown, especially like fall, I think it would look really, really pretty. So I may even go ahead and dabble in that gold. But this is a really pretty color right here. It's more of like a deeper cop copper brown. And then you go into, this is that mauvish color that's absolutely gorgeous. And then you go into the rest of them. This is the darkest color that I put in my crease. This is the smoke that I put on first. And then this one here is what I went in to deepen my, um, my crease. So there's the entire palette swatched. But even down here, there's just ridges like in the, the oh, this is just the beauty. Oh, I love this packaging. I love this packaging. Okay, so there's it all swatched on my skin. I cannot wait to achieve other colors because there's so many different looks you can do with this. It's not just blues, but I'm loving the blues, the blue grays, the smoky, the silvers. So beautiful. Now, the next thing that I did get was the brush set. Again, this was $35. And if you want a reminder, this was $48. So this was $35 for the set. It does have Lunar Beauty right there. It's more of like a triangle shaped. It's a different shaped bag, which is cute. Um, it does have their logo on the pull zipper. And then when you open it up, all of the brushes are down inside. It does open quite large the way that it does sit open. So it's a cute little design for the bag and you can definitely put a lot of stuff kind of in there Not too too much because it's still small But you could always put a lot more brushes in here as well or use this for anything afterwards But here are all of the brushes. Let me remove them all from the plastic Okay, so now the plastic is all removed The only thing that I'm going to say is I almost didn't buy them because all of the, the tips are white I wish that these were black and then it just continued to the white down here, but these were all black hairs because I don't like getting them dirty. Yes, I know you clean them, but some shadows do stain, like the pigment is so dark that it'll end up staining them and it's hard to get colors out. So my only thing is I wish at least the tips or all of them were black, but I'll just have to get them dirty. <laughs> That's fine. Now the first one I'm gonna show you, it says LBE-3. Three. That's the only thing on here that it says. So I'm not quite sure which each one is intended for, but I'll just tell you what they say here. And that's, so this is probably like a shading brush and that's what it looks like. Very soft. And I just think that these are really pretty. I like the, the ombre black to white effect. And then they do say Lunar Beauty right there. So there's the first one. The next one is LBE-2. LBE-1, ooh, that's nice and soft. Then we have LBE-4, so you have this guy. Here is an LBE, maybe that's for a Lunar Beauty Eye, LBE-6. So then you have this little guy here, that's a cute little one. Here's LBE7. And then here is LBE5. And they all have the same design with the Lunar Beauty and then the which brush number is right there. So the whole set, again, all together is right here. Let me try to get them all the same. Right there. Very pretty packaging though. I really like that ombre, the black to white. Very classic, nice looking. So even though I didn't need another brush set, I wanted a brush set because again, <laughs> I love the packaging. So there's that. And then the lip gloss that I got was in the color Moon. I love the Moon. Plus this looked like it was like a nude, kind of lightly colored lip gloss. So let me see if I remember correctly. The packaging is just ador adorable, but look, there's even a moon underneath the lid. Oh my gosh, the packaging is even more adorable. Is it on the other side too? Probably not. I don't think it's on the other side. Let me see. No, there's stars on the other side. And down through inside. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. There's the moon. <laughs> so here is what's inside. And that is like, see, it's like a, looks kind of like a nude color. And I didn't have anything like this. I have a pink, I have a clear, I have other colors that I'm gonna show you in a second. 
but just take a moment and look at this packaging. I absolutely loved this packaging, the very first one I ever received. I think it was from the first mystery box that I had got. I think I got all of them. That's how I started collecting all of this stuff is the mystery boxes that I purchased, but I could not get over how gorgeous the top of this lid is with like that crystal or the stone or whatever is in there, but that is just absolutely beautiful. So let's see what color this one is. Oh, very pretty. It's a lot more color than I thought it was going to be. Let's see. Oh, it smells scrumptious. Oh, you smell so good. Mmm. Yes, you do. Yes, ma'am. Ooh. You, you smell like some freshly baked cookies or something. Oh. Mmm. It smells scrum dibble <laughs> I want to eat it. <laughs> I'm not going to, but it smells so freaking good. That's always a plus when you're putting something on your lips near your nose and it smells good. Mm. So again, here's the packaging and this one is in the color Moon. Super, super pretty. So if you wanted to see the other colors that I do have in my collection, I have them right here. So the other two glosses that I have, this one is in the color Enchantment. And this one is just like a really pretty clear gloss. And I'm so glad to have this one. It does have like a purple sheen to it, like an opalescent. It's right here. It's like an opalescent sheen. So you kind of pick up on a little bit of like a purplish color in light purple and pink but it is really really pretty oh you can kind of see it on the tube on the lighting right there it looks kind of purplish so that is what this color looks like and again this one is in the color enchantment this one is in dreamy and this is another lip gloss and so this one is more pink where the one i got today is more of like a nudish brown more tint this one right here is more of like a pinkyish coral slight tint to it. But with the lip glosses, you don't see a whole lot of color. See, it's just a nice lip gloss. Do these all smell good too? Yes. Yes, they do. <laughs> they smell amazing. <laughs> so now I have all three of these lip glosses. They all look the same. And then there are the different colors. This is the one I got today. And these are the two that I already had. So then the only other ones I have is I have three liquid lipsticks. The first one here, this one is in the color Dream Sickle. This one is like a very bright fuchsia like color, but it's like a hot pinkish. It's almost like a hot pinkish coral color right there. I think I got this one in the mystery box as well. This one is a really, really pretty color. This one's called Witchy Bitch. <laughs> you little witchy bitch. This one is a beautiful dark burgundy right there. I really, really, really love this one. These do smell, they do smell good as well. I've probably all of their formula do. It just smells so good. And then the last color is in more of the gold ombre. I really like the black ombre on these. This one has the gold effect to it. And this one is in the color Aphrodite. I can't really read this one as much because it's on a clear tag where these are on a white tag. So it's more, it's visible more on the other. Let me see if I can just remove the label and put it on top of my finger so I can see what color this really is for you. <laughs> Aphrodite. I can see it better when I put it on my finger. <laughs> so that's the color of this one. And then it looks like this. This is like a real true, true red, like a snow white red right there. So now this, here's all six that I have. And if you wanted to see the other eyeshadow palettes that I have that I was telling you about, I'll show you right now. So the first one right here is the Greek Goddess. And the inside of this one looks like this. Yes, I have used this several times, but that's just a really nice neutral palette where you have a few pops of color. I really do like this palette and I pull for this one quite often. So there's the first one. Again, this one's called Greek Goddess. You can see all my, my dirty fingerprints. <laughs> I also have the Strawberry Dream, which 
hello, look at this package, is absolutely stunning. It's almost like the sister to this one, a sister from a different Mista, but they're different colors. This is more dreamy, dreamland pinks, you know, on the outside. And on the inside, you have a lot more bright, vibrant colors. So that's what this palette looks like. This one I don't pull for too, too much because there is a lot of bright colors and me normally bright is intimidating. But in the spring and summer, I'm going to start trying to use a little bit more bright colors, a little pop here and there. I love this. This packaging is so beautiful. It's just like a little locket book, even though it's not. This part is raised a little bit and then it even finishes back here to where it it has the look of like, you know, a little locked journal book, but this is just so cute. This is Moonspell. And on the inside, you have some greens, blues, purples, and then some mid-tones in the middle, which can go with pretty much anything. So I do really love this palette as well. Then I have Life is a Drag. Here's what the outside package looks like. And on the inside, it says, be a queen. And this one does come with a brush and then there are all of the colors. So you do have a lot of neutrals and then right here you just have a few pops of color. So it seems like a lot of their palettes are universal and then if you just want those few pops of colors, they're in there. So I really, really, really love Lunar Beauty's formulas. I love the packaging. Of course, the packaging is just stunning. And then the last one that I have is by Morphe though, but it's still the Manny MUA palette by Morphe. I've been like kind of falling away from Morphe lately, but I'm glad I have this in my collection. It's just Morphe's formula, not Lunar Beauty's formula. Um, I really, really love Lunar Beauty's formula a lot better. So this one I'm glad that I have, and I have it in my collection just because it's Manny's and I can say I have all of the palettes, but this one I definitely do not pull for that much. I do like that there is a highlighter. There's got some highlighter section and then you have like neutrals over here. So I like the color combination. Like I said, it's just, I'm not too fond of Morphe's formula that much anymore. There's just so many others that are a lot better. So I just don't really pull for any of my Morphe palettes anymore, but I do have it to add to my collection. But from Lunar Beauty, my favorite right now is going to be the, the internal eclipse. I love the packaging. I love the color stories inside. Next would be my moon spell. And then I'm going to say a toss up between these two and then my strawberry dream. If I were to put them in my favorite versus my least favorite, but I love them all. And I'm so glad that I have them all in my collection with my dirty paws on this one. The other ones are different. This is like a, um, a different type of fill than these. So this is the only one that you're going to be seeing like, like that. <laughs> these you won't because of the packaging is nice and slick. So that is everything that I have to show you about my new Lunar Beauty pieces to add to my collection and then my full collection to show you in case you were interested and you wanted to purchase something. Maybe you weren't interested in the one that I got, but you wanted to see what the other ones look like or some of the other colors. I can show you what I have so you can, you know, see what you might like it. I will link their main website down below and you can definitely check out everything that they have to offer if you like. So let's go ahead and start off with this beautiful, gorgeous palette right here. I cannot wait to get it on this face. So let's start. This is so pretty. So I'll start with Flair. I'll put her up here just a little. Ooh, ah, just a little bit. Just to add a little flare. a little shine so there's moons and stars on here <laughs> they're so pretty I don't want to mess them up but I'm gonna go in with dusk and set my base I'm just gonna try to lightly <laughs> I'm gonna try to lightly dab in there There's something about these two colors right here that are screaming at me. So I think instead of more of like the brown tones that I was going to go to, I'm going to go ahead and go with more of the smoke and add in some of this Lagoon and maybe put in this silver on my lower lid. So that's what I'm going to do. 
plan. Start with smoke. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Lagoon, which is like this beautiful blue color. Back in with smoke, gonna just kinda break this up a little bit up here a little bit more. <sighs> that is a genuine silver, or do I do meteor? Or do I do meteor, more of a gray? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this silver, let's see. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with night sky in my corner. So here is my final quick and easy look. It's like a grayish blue kind of smoky little look i don't know i'm digging it what do you think all right you guys so that is everything that i have to show you for my new lunar beauty pieces to add to my collection go ahead and comment down below let me know what did you think of this palette do you love the packaging? Do you love the colors inside? Do you like this thrown together look that I did really quick to show you guys? What do you think of the other palettes, the other colors that I have? Do you own anything from Lunar Beauty? Do you want to? Have you had your eye caught on something? Let me know. Comment down below. Your positive interaction means the world and I greatly do appreciate it as I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. So until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, Crafty Crew, out.